Good morning. October 26th. I hope you got your long johns on this morning if you're going to hang with one man band at PH Hunting Club. 28 degrees. 10 mile an hour winds with 20 mile an hour gusts. So, <clears throat> it's going to be cold. And anticipation on a morning like this morning for me is just through the roof. It's that time of the year, it's, it's 28 degrees this morning. Morning like this morning, you're just constantly, I'm probably going to end up having to go to the chiropractor on Monday morning. Just constantly back and forth with my neck looking. These are the kind of days where them big mature white tails are going to, they're going to screw up. They're going to get out of their bed. Out of their bed, they're in the autumn olives bedding down. They're going to get out of that and come in freshen up their scrapes. They want to make sure all the bucks in the area know that this is my house. I think it'd been better to wear a set of uh, shooting muffs this morning and just go off high sight because it's enough to drive a guy nuts already all worked up as it is. We're, we're starting week four. This is when the big boys come out and play. I think I'm, if I get a chance in a doe, I'm gonna have to shoot because I gotta get something to get the edge off. I'm, I'm, I'm more wiry than a bird dog right now. sightings yet. Other than a little bit of wind, I think this morning's prime morning, 28 degrees. The only thing I can think of is it was a ladies night at the alfalfa bar. We might start seeing the stagger back a little later than we did. It was Friday night last night. They you know, went and let their hair down and got a little wild and crazy. And we'll start to see them tripling in here to the, the bedding area here a little later than normal. Once again, that just happened. I mean, I'm up here on a ridge. And it dropped off to my right and to my left, and I'm, I'm kind of hunting this ridge. And uh, he 
buckies. And that's the second buck I've seen this morning within about 20 minutes. And it's, they're, they're just working the ridge with their nose to the ground, kind of trying to pick up a scent, cruising, seeking stage, which is what I like to hunt. I guess you get, you get them like that. They, they had no idea we were even here. A textbook, that's for sure. You have to expect the unexpected and make it through another year on the property. He'll be a He'll be a player next year. Well, I think I'm going to call it a morning. Uh, it's getting ready to go on 10 o'clock. I want to use the rest of the morning into the into the afternoon as a, uh, a maintenance day. This is the third Saturday. We're getting ready to go into week four. We've got week four, five, and six, which is going to get pretty hot. I want to make sure I have uh, all my stands exactly where I feel they need to be for the upcoming coming rut. That was a good morning to be out, uh, and we'll probably uh, see you in a stand tonight. If you're an avid hunter such as myself, you know that a hunt can change in a split second. And this hunt on October 26th was no different. I was packing up my bags and, and heading to go do some uh, tree stand work and uh, Mother Nature had another plan. Just, uh, just shot over the back of a big long snout doe. I was crawling down. I had all my gear, had all my gear packed up, and uh, I looked behind me, and a mother and fawn came right into the shooting lane. So we got to skin out Dad's deer tonight. So I figured I'd, I'd go ahead and, and let one have it today, this morning. Didn't have an opportunity. He was just getting ready to climb down. I look in there right behind me. I want to go down and look for sure. First thing I did when I got down here is I ranged uh, from the tree that I'm, I was in to where she was standing. It, it ranged 22 yards and I was shooting her for 25 and I was holding holding middle of body. And uh, that's a pretty steep angle. I, sh I should have known better than that to drop it to her bottom of her belly. But uh, And if you're going to miss, you want to miss clean. And this is what I was hoping to find when I got down here. A clean arrow. So it was a clean miss, and we can chalk that up as experience. You always got to take it, take it in uh, consideration that angle of the arrow. That's how it goes. I was in the hot seat this morning, though. One man band. I'm out. <laughs> 